Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn strategist, trainer, and coach. I got asked this question this morning, Teddy, why should I use Sales Navigator? And then she went on and said, or should I use Sales Navigator? So here's the answer to the question. I wrote down five, actually six bullet points that I think are really impactful to draw the picture of using Sales Navigator and why we should use Sales Navigator. Number one, there are 13 additional filters when you're looking for people on Sales Navigator. And some of them are very company related which really helps us focus on individuals at specific companies. We can also find people that are in the same groups we're in. We can also people find people based on when they join LinkedIn. So lots of really good features, or excuse me, filters built in, including roles and tenure filters, that are built into Sales Navigator that are not built into LinkedIn. That's for lead search. But then you have account search is even more powerful. On LinkedIn, you have five filters for accounts. In Sales Navigator, you have way more. I think it's 13 total. You have the size filters for the company, and you have other filters for the companies as well. So number one reason for using Sales Navigator is if you are going to be prospecting, it has factorially, significantly maybe, more filters that are beneficial to focus in on the right people. Here's reason number two for using Sales Navigator, social listening. With LinkedIn, you can see a lot of the content that your LinkedIn network is sharing. You're not going to see it all, and it's all of the, your LinkedIn members, most of the ones you engage with the most, but you don't have the ability to control it specifically and say, I want to see the activity, predominantly the post that uh, a specific people are sharing. Now with Sales Navigator, I can use what's called lead list and account list. And when I put people in a lead or put people in an account list, then their content will show up in Sales Navigator. So I can pay attention to the people and the companies that I wanna pay attention to within Sales Navigator very focused of social listening activity. So that's the second reason why I would encourage you to use Sales Navigator is for the powerful and focused social listening activity. And furthermore, when you're listening or seeing this content, if you want to engage with the Takata or Lenovo, you view that article and it comes up here and then I had the ability to kick over into LinkedIn. I wish I could do it all here. But with accounts, I can kick over to LinkedIn and then I can engage on this content. Now, with individuals, with leads, this is pretty interesting. With leads, when I view it, I have the ability at this point to comment or like directly on this content through Sales Navigator without having to go over to LinkedIn. Again, number two reason, social listening. Here's the third reason, unlimited profile view. I can search for whatever I want to search for, search for people all, all different ways, and I can, this, I can bring that list up, and I can look at the entire list. Now, you, by the way, I would not never look at 198 million at one time. I would filter it down lower with the filters we have available. But if you're using LinkedIn, you banging on your keyboard and banging on your uh, trackpad or your mouse, you have the ability to look as, at as many profiles as you want. Again, I use the phrase you banging on your keyboard and your mouse because if you try to automate this or do it too quick, you're going to get in trouble because LinkedIn does not want you, A, automating profile views, and B, when you do it too quick, they think you're using automation. But for those who are real humans, we're not gonna do it that way and not gonna get in trouble. So we do get total access to look at as many LinkedIn profiles as we want with no limitations. And that's pretty powerful if you are deliberately prospecting through Sales Navigator. The fourth reason I wrote down is in-mails. You have the ability to send in-mails to second level and third level connections uh, through Sales Navigator. So I can send a private message 
And it basically is a message request. She has to accept this message and engage with me, or she could decline the message, or she could respond back to me and decline. But if you script out good messages and use the in-mail feature the right way, it can be fairly useful for cold messaging to people that you're not connected with yet. So in-mails is very useful on Sales Navigator. But again, I would offer lots of people lean on in-mails as a primary way of engaging with their target audience, second level, third level connections. And I don't think it's the primary way. I think it's a way. I think there are other tactics that are, that are better, i.e. introductions. Um, but in-mails are very useful and you get these with Sales Navigator. And the fifth reason that I would recommend someone to use Sales Navigator is because you have saved searches. We had saved searches up until I think the middle of 2020 and they went away in LinkedIn. But they are in Sales Navigator and you can have a, a fairly large list of saved search alerts. These are alerts that LinkedIn will send you an email with the new people who meet the criteria of these searches. And you can have saved searches for individuals, a leads, and saved searches for accounts. So that on a regular basis, LinkedIn will send you an email, again, an email outside of LinkedIn or outside of Sales Navigator, saying here are new people or new accounts that meet this criteria. So if you have a very focused search that you have built and it's really good quality leads that are relevant to your goal, then I recommend create a saved search and let LinkedIn send you an email when new people meet those criteria. And then you come in and you look at these search results and you work them the way you would normally work them in your prospecting tactic. Saved searches are really useful. Again, only available now through Sales Navigator. With these features being useful, you know, uh, like extended filters for leads and accounts, uh, the ability to have saved leads so you can do so, uh, social listening, unlimited search results or, and profile views, in-mails and saved search alerts. With all of those being real and beneficial, I would say to you, if you're not going to use these features on a regular basis, don't sign up for a one-year subscription to Sales Navigator. Sign up for month to month and prove to yourself that you can integrate the use of Sales Navigator into your business processes and then do that. And then it can then it could become a worthwhile tool in your prospecting, business development, social listening toolbox. I'm Teddy, your LinkedIn strategist, trainer, and coach. Hope these ideas are helpful for you.